what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? It's about damn time. There's finally a serious effort to change the name of John Wayne Airport in Orange County to Orange County Airport because John Wayne was a famous racist and homophobe. The Orange County Democratic Party passed a resolution calling out John Wayne's racist and bigoted statements and demanding the OC Board of Supervisors rename the airport Orange County Airport. Fam, it's pretty amazing that it hadn't happened sooner. Back in 1971, John Wayne told Playboy, I believe in white supremacy until the blacks are educated to a point of responsibility. I don't believe in giving authority and positions of leadership and judgment to irresponsible people. And then there was more. I don't feel guilty about the fact that five or 10 generations ago, these people were slaves. Then he went in on Native Americans. I don't feel we did wrong in taking this great country away from them. There were great numbers of people who needed new land and the Indians were selfishly trying to keep it for themselves. Then he went after the gays. He used a homophobic slur to refer to two main characters in Midnight Cowboy. That bozo the clown said he don't believe in giving authority and positions of leadership and judgment to irresponsible people. Yet, that's exactly who was in positions of authority and leadership when he opened his stank mouth. Subhumans people who thought that they were superior based strictly on the color of their skin. This clown also said that he felt like that he didn't feel guilty for them taking the land from the Indians because Indians were being selfish by keeping the land to themselves. And hey, it was people who needed new land. Family, that's like you saying, well, I didn't feel guilty about robbing him because I needed money. And he was being selfish by keeping all that money to himself that he worked for. This is the arrogance of white supremacy. They think their shit don't stink. They think the world revolves around them. They are pro-law enforcement. They are all for being a nation of laws until you try to use the law against them. See, the rules and the laws or for everybody else to abide by, not them. This airport was named John Wayne Airport in 79 after a Playboy interview. Go show you how powerful Playboy was back in the gap. Now fam, my first question is, why even name the airport John Wayne in the first place? Why would he even have a career in the first place? being who he was. Dun, dun, dun. Because America swims in racism daily and many of the people at the top and America's so-called greatest institutions are racist. That's why. And that's why you had all of the Confederate statues in the first place. Because the racist are at the top in all the, of the institutions. That's why. That's why. Now, 
John Wayne, you know, I used to watch his stuff when I was young. My mom was a John Wayne fan. Uh, I don't know if she knew he was a racist or not. I know I wasn't, I wasn't informed enough to know. And so I was just being entertained. But once I found out who he was, oh man, I never watched that punk again. Never, never. I don't sacrifice my convictions for entertainment. I don't care how talented they are. If I find out that those bastards got that in them, I'm gone. They would get no support from me, nothing. If I see anything racist, anything that's, that's out of pocket, that I believe is just corrupt, I'm not gonna support it, period. There's no news on whether or not the board of supervisors will pull the plug on the name yet. I suspect they will. There's something going on right now. There's a movement going on right now. And it's pretty safe to get rid of some of these images right now. And because they're getting attacked on all fronts, the usual suspects who run around with their tiki torches and throwing up, the, yeah, and all that stuff, they got too many uh, battles to fight right now. And the people are resistant, like aggressively resistant right now. And so I think that, uh, I think within the next few days, I, I think before the end of the week, they're gonna change, they're gonna vote to change the name. I don't know, I believe, let's see. Uh, so the resolution is passed. So all it has, at this point, it just has to be, uh, it just has to be uh, um, approved by the Board of Supervisors. That's it. That's it. So, so let's see. Every time I think about John Wayne, you know what comes to mind? Public enemy. Elvis was a hero the most, but he never meant nothing to me. Straight out racist, the sucker was simple and plain. Motherfuck him and John Wayne. Yeah, I said it, I meant it, and I'm here to represent it. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?